you busy tonight? Why? I thought you might want to spend some time with your cousins. So you want me to babysit? I'll pay you. Me and Jimmy haven't been out together, just the two of us in ages. We're desperate for a date night. Well, I'll think about it. Thanks. Hey, did you, uh, <laughs> get my messages? Uh, no. Oh, I just said don't be late today. Not that you usually are, but we've got to be super professional. Why? I've double booked. So can you take the Simpsons anniversary party and I'll pitch for the Cooper Collins wedding, yeah? What, who are the Simpsons? Don't know. I met them, they rang up and I bought some in without checking the diary. Just reel them in. You know, you're brilliant at that. <laughs> OK. Mm, what would I do without you, eh? <laughs> I'll see you over there, right? So, they want a Greece-themed party. Oh, are you kidding? Well, not the country Greece, cos I thought that's where they had the honeymoon, but it's some old film that Mum once tried to get me to watch, but it's super boring. Greece is not boring. Oh, you like it? I love it. I know every word to every song. So, what's it about? Do you know what? You've just got to watch it. Have you got any plans for tonight? No. Then you're watching Greece at mine. I mean, you can't organise a party, can you, if you've no idea what the theme is? And trust me, you're going to be obsessed. Hey. Oh, you two look busy. We are, actually. We've bagged two new clients this morning. Gabby's been amazing. Oh, I'm sure she has. And she's never seen Greece. She's coming round to mine tonight. I'm going to teach her all the songs and the dance moves. I see. Hey, do you mind if I tag along? Only Greece is one of my all-time favourites. You've never said? Well, not the sort of thing you throw into conversation, but I do know all the songs and dance moves. Do you know? I think I love you even more now. <laughs> Oh, and I bumped into Marlon. He's doing one of his curry nights. You fancy a takeout? You know, I'll have a korma. Sounds perfect. Are you up for it? Yeah, great. Great. See you later then. No, I didn't promise. I said I'd think about it, and then I got a better offer. No, listen, if I will babysit for you another time if it's really that important. All right, I won't then. <laughs> Farrell. No, Nicola. Ah. <laughs> babysit for us if you want. Mm, no, thanks. Don't blame you, it's not much fun. <laughs> so, are you staying out here or coming in? I'll stay out here. And what can I get you? Um, an orange juice, please. Won't be a minute. I thought we agreed you were going to stay away from Lena. Well, we work together. Outside of work. Cosy film nights weren't part of the deal. Look, I couldn't say no. You should have told her you were busy. OK, I know. Gabby, I don't want you in her life pretending to be her friend, cos you're not. Just text her and apologise, make some excuse, I don't care what. Well, no, she'll just ask a load of questions. Well, get creative. You're a great liar. Or do I have to tell her that you sent those flowers to Mina pretending to be me? I mean, how do you think she'll feel when she finds it out? That you tried to split us up? Do you think you'll still even have a job? I've tried f I'm about to close, so whatever you want, you can forget it. Do you still need that babysitter? What happened to your better offer? Well, I thought I couldn't let you down. It's really thoughtful. Just to warn you, if Elliot suggests playing Monopoly, he cheats. I mean, Jimmy lets him get away with it, but I don't think it sets the right example. Oh, don't worry. I never let anyone beat me. 